Hello, beautiful soul. Welcome into your Virgo reading. This is going to be from the 1st until the 7th of November. We are going to be looking into your recent past with regards to love and relationships. Then we're going to look at what is coming in the near future. And at the end of the reading, as usual, I am going to ask your spirit guides to use one of their favorite little tarot decks and give you some advice, maybe show you something that you have not seen or that you don't see right now. Um, just give you a message or whatever advice at the end of your reading. So let's get into this beautiful Virgo. Let's see what's going on with you guys over the course of the next week or so, or what message do you need to receive at this time? So let's get in here. Remember, a general reading, if it resonates, you will know. If it doesn't, check your rising, check your moon and Venus as well, especially moon and Venus with regards to love. Okay, so let's get in here and see what's been going on with you in the recent past. Let's have a look and see. Um, Ace of Voices in the reverse position. That's not a good card to come up here. Something was not working. Something was not successful with the Ace of Voices, which is the Ace of Swords energy in that reverse position. What is this? Let's see. We've got a Hangman here as well that's come up in the... Okay, there's... Okay, there, there was a person here. Uh, what I, when I saw the Hangman come up, the Hangman energy... Or the hanged muse in this tarot. It's in the reverse position. It's got a couple of different meanings. The main energy of the hangman would be holding back, you know. But when the hangman's in the reverse position like this, it's actually not about holding back. But it's about holding back a part of yourself. It's not like you're not there. I mean, you're showing up. You're there, okay. But there's an aspect. And this might be you or this might be somebody else. So it's like you show up every day, you know, you're there, you're in the connection, you're there. But you, there's either a part of you that you're not revealing about yourself, or, they, or what you are showing, it's more of not your real true self. You see, this can be somebody's energy. It can even be you, maybe, that felt like you couldn't open up to somebody. Um, but I feel like this is the cause of... Some kind of failure, yeah. So let's have a look and see. Empress in the reverse position. Um, definitely whatever was going on here caused this to happen. So there was definitely somebody here who was very nurturing, very caring, very loving in a connection. Maybe you thought you were meeting with the same energy. Nurturing, give and take, caring for each other. And I don't think that's what you got here. Somebody left this connection. Um, somebody just, you know, whenever I see this chariot card coming up in a, with the muse tarot, the way that the lady's hands are kind of like open like this, you know, she's like, it's almost like you, you're kind of throwing your hands up in the air, but she's doing it with control. Um, I feel like she's releasing some kind of energy here with regards to, to move forward. To move forward, you know, um, because of the experiences that she's had in the past year. This is also Scorp uh, Cancer's energy as well. Um, I really feel like this is an ending that happened. I feel like you gave so much of yourself. You were very nurturing to a person, but this person had you believing without a doubt that things are really going to be really good here. They had you believing that they were like on the same page as you, but their behavior and their words or what they showed you in the beginning wasn't what came out a bit later. You might have even got confused here wondering um, but why are they acting so different now? Why um, have they changed? They never changed. <laughs> uh, they were just not the person that they were showing you. So they actually, sometimes people do this. It's like they made you fall in love with somebody that wasn't even real. It was like they were acting as someone else. And I think you you let it go you may always it might have been a bit hard because the thing is if somebody shows you something amazing and then all of a sudden it's not there anymore you may stick around hoping to see the amazing come back but the amazing was never real to begin with okay it was something that was shown to you that was not the truth so uh, let's have a look and see into your near future what have we got coming up here You've definitely gained the wisdom. You've got Taurus's energy coming in here. Love this card. It's one of my favorites um, because it talks about, uh, it does talk about cultural belief systems, but it, more than anything, it talks about what you gain from the experiences that you've had 
in life. And when it's in the reverse position, it's really lessons that have been learned. And moving forward, you are carrying this. So if you ever wonder to yourself, I mean, how do I ever find out about people? How can I trust somebody moving forward? Really trust yourself more than what you think. You've got more wisdom here inside of you because of your past experience here than what you actually realize. It's not the same. You're playing the same game, but you're on a different team right now. Okay. You totally um, shifted your energy here. Okay. So this game is going to go in a very different way. Okay. So you do have love coming in. You do have somebody approaching you here. It can be someone from the past. What is going on? It is someone from the past. The same person might be coming back in. Do you see how we got the chariot card coming up here twice? It's in the upright position here. You took positive steps to move your life in a direction that you wanted it to go. It's not over. That's what I can tell you now. This is this six of uh, cups talks about memories from the past. And sometimes it also means romanticizing the positive memories from the past. And you remember some of the positive things that they showed you yeah, about themselves was not even true. I feel like they come back in because the Knight of Cups is literally underneath the hangman, that false energy. And I feel like they come back in showing you that part of themselves again. And with the chariot card being in that reverse position, I feel like it's a little bit of a warning energy. Just be a bit careful because you are being shown something again. It's almost like the person that you fell in love with, here I am. But it's always... This is like an actor, you know, acting a role. Um, it's like you see an actor, your favorite actor or actress, you know, and you see them in the mo in a movie that you like, and you're like, damn, I love this actor so much. I love this actress. But if you actually had to meet them in real life, they are nothing like the characters they portray on the movie screens or the TV screens. And this person does that as well. So they show you something that they know you're going to like. But as time goes by, they can't keep that up. An actor can't be acting 24 hours a day. Then when they go home, they're a complete different person. So once they get homely with you, they start to show the real self to you. Be careful that the chariot here yeah, in the reverse position. It's like it's a bit of a warning. So I want to see. I feel like you're not done with this ex-person. For a lot of you guys, maybe because of the wisdom being here, you will know exactly, I know, Deborah, I know this person was not real from the beginning. That's the wisdom. For others of you, you might gain a bit of confusion here, not sure what to do. Should I move forward with them? Should I not? Should I keep on my own path? Uh, are they really wanting to be on the same path as me? That kind of energy. Um, just just be careful. Okay, uh, let's have a look and see. Let's see. Spirit guides, please come and advise us here for um, my beautiful Virgo out there. Knight of Cups, King of Cups rocking in here. Knight of Swords, this is you here. That's your energy. King of Cups, Empress energy. It's this loving, fair for some reason, I feel like you really value the fairness of life, the fairness between people. Yeah, you got your problem. Um, it's all in this row here like this. The Knight of Swords in the reverse position. Very unexpectedly, very quickly coming in here. But they're carrying a sword, so they kind of like can do this thing of almost... Um, I'm going to move my camera a bit down. They can do this thing of almost cutting out people coming in very quickly and very swiftly leaving again as well pulling back energy changing as well sometimes um you know this is air energy it's sword so you think of air energy as wind you know and some people change like the dream's direction so does this person when the wind blows this way they act like this when the wind blows the other way they're somebody else okay so let's have a look and see they change the direction of the wind and this can become a repetitive cycle if it hasn't been already they're asking you to focus your spirit guides are literally asking you to focus this situation with this person can become a repetitive cycle and these two energies yeah this night um can be a little bit sneaky okay look at this is known as the sneaky card of the tarot and uh, this night behaves like this because it's in the reverse position in and out kind of energy um so they can up and leave again your connection in the background and go again. So just or do the same kind of behavior and sort of, um, you know, they're very careful when they come in. But uh, it's, you know, it's sneaky. You're not really seeing their real self here. And with this magician card coming up in your reading, it is, you know, the magician card talks about your abilities to build the life that you want to have. 
And when you see it coming up, I feel like your spirit guides are going, you know, you made a decision over here about what you want. The magician card is the person that makes the decision about what they want to bring into their life. So you got the chariot energy here. I'm going to head towards positivity. I'm not going to stay in a place of negativity. And then what happens is when... Um, when we face with love, it becomes our biggest problem. When somebody activates our heart chakra, because we can end up giving up everything for love. But is that person willing to give it up for you? Question mark, you see. And they're asking you with the magician card here to really think about what you want your life to look like. And if this is the kind of situation that you want to have in your life as you go forward. Um, do you want to have this kind of thing in your life as you go forward? What is it that you want to have? And then really focus on that. And if a person is not in alignment, like the chariot card, they're not in alignment because there's two chariot cards. The one is reversed, one is in the upright position. Then you have to sometimes make a decision to walk on your own path and without another person, especially if they... Uh, what they want to manifest or what they maybe they're not even manifesting anything because people who don't really know what they want they don't know what they want so they won't be able to make choices they just kind of like do like wherever the wind blows that they're gonna go you know what I mean they're gonna go this way they're gonna go that way it's very unstable and this is very grounded energy so is the chariot as well so you have gotta know what you want and if whatever is coming into your life or is in your life that doesn't look like the way your future you want it to be then you've got to move away from it okay so let's see what i want to turn the decks for you I've got temperance coming in here caution this is a card of balance by the way and caution because sagittarius this is sagittarius's card it is uh, sagittarians can be extremely impulsive okay and um they can do things on a whim it's like they wake up uh, and it's like, let's go. And they just go. And this card actually talks about the need to take it slow. The need to be very careful and the need to be cautious. It's actually about finding balance. There's nothing wrong with being spontaneous and doing things spontaneously. But sometimes there's got to be a level of understanding and control with regards to spontaneous spontaneous behavior and choices that we need to make we really got to find the balance when we're moving forward and um it's a card of caution as well because it literally means um you know test the water go slow where even angels fear to tread that's the meaning of the temperance card and they're asking you with regards to this person be careful if it is not balanced energy because this is one of the things hierophant means balance it means learning from past mistakes the empress needs balance the empress needs equal give and take and if somebody is not doing that if somebody comes in very loving like this and then gets very sneaky like this in the next um, moment it is absolutely not balanced at all so let's see Okay, this situation is going to get up in your head a little bit here. You've got five of wands coming in. It is going to be a little bit in your head. It's going to be something that I feel like you're going to be a bit conflicted about. Um, they may also create conflict in you because of their behavior. Because they're coming in here going, hey, it's me again. And you're just like, oh gosh, I made this decision to push this person out. And yeah, they are back again. Why? Why are they back here again? It's what they do. If they follow emotion whatever it is on that day. So tomorrow they don't feel like talking to you. They're not going to talk to you. It's not dedication. It's following the direction of the wind. So they're very unstable. Let's see what else comes in. You're going to have to make a decision here. You've got a choice to make and you've got a decision to make about what you want to have in your future. And that involves this magician card and the chariot card there. Whatever is not going in the direction that you want your life to go in, you've got to make a decision about it. Do you forfeit how you want your future to look to be in this situation that can become repetitive with the seven of swords being here or do you want to make the right choices and the right decision to get your life in a direction so that you can get to the life that you want to live but there we go thank you so much virgo for watching i am wishing you all the best as you go through the rest of your day bye